It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Arizona Cardinals. All that and more coming up next. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep his team in contention. And meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out and play in Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. They start the drive on the ground with Hill. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. First carry now for Gus Edwards. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Early down stuff to put this offense in precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Here's Jackson. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp. He sees the field really well and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first play sack, 
makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Dobbs. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Ten more there and another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Stopped in his tracks and given a loss on that play by Patrick Queen. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he knocks the ball away falls incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. And <laughs> yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Incomplete. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swim the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. He finds the rookie, Zay Flowers. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 31-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. I have to imagine many a defensive coordinator's had a sleepless night trying to game plan ways to slow down Lamar Jackson. What do you think is the most effective way to try to do it? Well, you've got to be a little counterintuitive because normally you're sitting on the wide receiver one, aren't you? But with Lamar Jackson, I'd sit on the tight end. He loves to throw into the middle of the field, loves that position as his number one target. Take that away and hope you have a corner who can stand up man-to-man -man against his speed guy on the perimeter. Off the option, here's Edwards. 
And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Award that tackle for loss to the safety, Buda Baker. We're scoreless after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Again, it's Edwards. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here now a third and 20. Off the draw, here's Hill. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Tucker now following the main field goal, set to kick it away. Set to return it, here's Moore. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. start this drive out on the ground and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down not a huge carry there on first down but not all of them will be but still all in all a positive play for the offense it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down here's second and seven now Dobbs Pressure too much. Down he goes. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Encroach with defense. Do that. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So that last penalty, making this third down much more manageable. Third down, four yards to go. To throw his downs. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. 
So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And Baltimore is offense set for this next possession. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. Second and ten. Jackson now. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. First catch there for OBJ, and that good for a first down. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They go play action with Jackson. Now one into the hands of Flowers. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. Going for Bateman. He's got him on the out route. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now Jackson on second down. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. They'll come out in the pistol. Jackson's going to keep it. And holding it, maybe the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and goal from the six this time. Now it's Jackson. Dancing to his left. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Third and goal, Jackson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 
Tucker's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at Taylor's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and 10, Dobbs. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's second and 10. Now Dobbs. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. A final shot before break. Dobbs. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. A final shot before break. Dobbs. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6 nothing is our count at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime This has certainly report. been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Dobbs is throwing. His throw's going to be incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Dobbs to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. That's pulled in at the 32. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Jackson being chased out left. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They go play action now. Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. First target, first catch, and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Edwards. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. 
Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Again, it'll be Edwards. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Gus Edwards taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens are able to add on to that lead. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. That right there makes up for that missed extra point they had after the first score. Yeah, they went ahead and got back to level by going for two and having the normal amount of points. So that works out pretty well for them. And if you're the kicker, don't worry about it too much. Now they've got back to where they want to be, he'll try it out there for the next one. Justin Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. The football going back over to Arizona now. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. Clock showing 90 seconds to go in the third. On first down, Dobbs to throw. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And this goes to the former Raven, Marquise Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. More the motion man. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Dobbs. And this is caught. It's Brown. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. 
My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and nine. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout. And they come up with the interception in the end zone. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's Edwards again on second down. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On third down, Jackson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And we have reached the two-minute warning. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 55 remaining. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. Dobbs. That's out to the flat for Ingram. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Second down, eight yards to go. 
Now Dobbs. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Here now, third down. Now Dobbs. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Third and 12. Try to take this home, they'll run. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. A loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will extend their lead even further. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. On the return, the Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. 
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.